Hi everyone, I'm David from David O Yoga, and welcome to 15 Minute Flow Strength. So sometimes when we hear the word strength, we think that means hard. This isn't a hard sequence. Now you may be challenged at points, but anyone can do this, even total beginners. I'll guide you through each step and I'll offer some variations on some of the poses. So if one thing doesn't work, you just try the other thing, see what works. This is a really fun full body flow uh, with a special emphasis on the core, the hips, and the low back areas that we all could use a little tune-up, right? So I'm ready. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start in child's pose. So hips to heels. You get a big stretch through your arms. Reach through your fingertips. Let your head, forehead melt down to the mat. A couple breaths here. Soften. Feel the fullness of each breath. We're transitioning from the routine of our day into the sacred space of our practice. So let the mind settle. And as you inhale, come forward. Big stretch through the arms, the fingertips, puppy pose. Let the heart melt down with each breath. You can look down, you can look forward, open up the throat chakra here if that feels good in your neck. And exhale, melt the heart downwards. You should feel a stretch through the heart, the collarbone, the chest, all the way into the armpits. Just continue to breathe. Inhale, walk the hands back towards you. Curl the toes, lift the hips, downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here. Pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw opposite heel down to earth. Feel the back body begin to open from the glutes and the hamstrings all the way down to the heels. Come to stillness. As you exhale, walk the hands all the way back to the feet. Toe heel feet together, big toe mounts touch, heels slightly separate. Uttanasana, forward fold. Now you can bend your knees quite a bit here if that feels good in the low back. Grab opposite elbows, just take a little sway side to side. Let everything settle and relax. Flutter your lips. Let the muscles of the face soften. Release the elbows. Bend into the knees, tuck the tailbone a little and then wave up through the spine. And as you inhale, lift the head, float the hands up to the sky. Big breath, cactus the arms, ha, <sighs> open mouth, exhale. Inhale, reach tall, right hand to the left wrist. Let's take a little side stretch here. Yeah, and take it to the other side, switch hands. Big side stretch through the left side. Inhale, come up to the sky. And again, cactus the arms, open mouth, exhale, ha. <sighs> Inhale, reach tall, and exhale, bow, empty the breath. Slowly walk the hands all the way back to the top of the mat. Downward dog. Bring your feet together. Inhale, take the right heel up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, hug it in, press through the mat into earth. Keep pressing firmly into the mat, right knee to the top of the right tricep. Shift forward, wrap the elbows in. And then cross the body, right knee to the left tricep. Make contact with the tricep. Hold and extend the right leg long, left hand to the sky, fallen triangle. Lift the hips, open the heart. Three-legged dog, left hand comes back down, right heel to the sky. 
and step it all the way through between your hands. Rise, crescent lunge. Engage long and strong through the left leg. Big breath, reach tall. Exhale, take a twist, opening to the right. So keep engaging through the back leg. That's your strength and stability. Flip the front palm up and back, lift the heart. We're lifting up out of the low back. Exhale, windmill the hands down, frame the front foot, step back, plank pose, draw the navel in, come down to the forearms, forearm plank. As you inhale, keeping the strong plank shape, press up, plank pose, keep breathing here. Back down to forearm plank, draw the navel in and up, and big breath, press up, plank pose. Nice work, lift the hips, walk the hands all the way back to the feet, Uttanasana, forward fold, back of the mat. Take a moment here, find your breath, slow down. Inhale, reverse swan dive, crown of head forward, reach up to the sky, mountain pose, and then bend the knees. Let's take it low, chair pose, Utkatasana. Root the heels into earth, big breath. Lengthen the tailbone down, let's take it a little deeper. Can you find softness in the upper body? Relax the gaze, relax the shoulders. Big breath. Exhale, fold, empty. Halfway lift, toe, heel, feet, hip distance apart, and let's play with crow. Hands come down, shoulder distance apart, kneecaps to the very tops of the triceps, and then shifting forward. You have lots of options here. You can keep the toes on the ground. You can lift one foot. You can lift both feet. Wrap the elbows in to engage the upper back, and draw the heels strongly toward the glutes if the feet are lifted and hold for three two one exhale step down and come back to the fold toe heel feet together big toe mounds touch heels slightly separate grab opposite elbows little sway here relax let the upper body soften as you inhale Walk your hands all the way back to the front of the mat. Downward dog. Feet together, inhale, take the right heel up to the sky. Exhale, step the right foot through between the hands and shifting forward, standing split, lift left heel, drop the left hip. Option here, you can play with balance, binding the standing ankle with one or perhaps both hands. Exhale, hands come down and curtsy, left knee behind the right, wing the arms back. Inhale, step through, tall and strong, mountain pose, palms meet. Draw Anjali Mudra to your heart, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, and breathe. Inhale, sweep the hands up to the sky, big breath. Exhale, fold, empty, and release. Halfway lift. Step back, plank pose. Slowly lower halfway, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, lift the heart, draw the shoulders back, and exhale, lift the hips, push back, downward dog. Feet together, inhale, take the left heel up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose, shifting forward, squeeze it in, activate the core, and then moving the left knee to the top of the left tricep, shift forward, wrap the elbows in, and then cross the body. Left knee, right tricep, hold and extend, fallen triangle. Take the right hand up to the sky and lift through the heart, through the hips. Right hand comes down, three-legged dog, take the right heel back up to the sky. Exhale, step through between the hands and rise, crescent lunge. Again, engage, strengthen through the back leg. So the right thigh muscle hugging to bone. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, let's take a twist, opening to the left. So open across the heart, the collarbone. Ring the core out, flip the front palm. And let's take it up and back, lifting the heart up out of the low back 
Exhale, windmill the hands down. Step back, plank pose. Come to the forearms, forearm plank. Draw the navel in. This time walk the toes in for dolphin plank. So keep tiptoeing the toes in, in, in until the shoulders stack over the elbows. Heels draw down, they don't have to touch. So you're in downward dog legs. Breathe, pressing firmly into the palms, the forearms, the elbows. As you exhale, slowly walk the feet back to a forearm plank. Big breath, press up plank pose and walk the feet, or walk the hands rather, back to the feet and empty forward fold. Again, take this opportunity to relax, to find your breath, not check out, but check in. Inhale, slowly rise, reverse swan dive, rise. Hands to the sky, chair pose. Feel all four corners of the feet rooting into earth and then shift the weight back a little bit so feel the heels rooting. Lift up through the heart, the fingers, lengthen the tailbone. Let's take it a little deeper. One more big breath in. Exhale, fold, release. Halfway lift, toe, heel, feet, hip distance apart. Again, crow pose. So your version of crow, kneecaps to the tops of the tricep, shifting forward, toes can stay on the ground. You can even rest your head on a block in front of you. Or lift one foot or lift both feet. Again, wrapping the elbows in, take the gaze forward, draw the navel in and up, squeeze the pelvic floor in and up for three, two, one, exhale, step down and fold. Grab opposite elbows, a little sway here. Hands come down to the mat and as you inhale, walk the hands all the way back to the front of the mat for downward dog. Feet together, inhale, left heel to the sky and exhale, step the left foot through between your hands Shifting forward, standing split. Lift the right leg, drop the right hip. Option here, again, to play with balance, binding the standing ankle with one hand or perhaps both hands. Hands come down to the mat. Curtsy, right knee behind the left. Wing the arms back. Inhale, step through tall and strong. Palms meet overhead. Exhale, Anjali Mudra to your heart. Close your eyes here for a moment. With each breath, feel tension leaving the body. Relax your face, your brow. Inhale, sweep the hands high, big breath. Exhale, swan dive, empty and release. Halfway lift, step down, plank pose, and slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Hmm. Extend the right hand out to the side and roll to the right side. Step the left foot behind you, tent the left fingertips up. And you can adjust the shoulder and the chest stretch here by pressing into the left hand and then slowly let the head relax down to the mat, opening the neck here. Exhale, return to your back or your belly rather, and extend the left hand out. Let's take it to the other side. Again, tenting the right fingertips up. A little gentle pressure in the right hand and then let the right, or let the head gently fall. Open the neck. Come back to your belly. Sink your hips back to your heels, child's pose. Let the forehead rest softly on the mat. Couple breaths here. Inhale, come forward, slide the fingers or crawl the fingers forward, puppy pose, big extension through the arms, the hands, the fingertips, melt the heart down. Gently wrap the elbows in, continue to melt the heart down. You can look forward, you can look straight down, whatever feels good in your neck. Inhale, walk the hands all the way back towards you. 
sweep the legs around in front, feet together, big breath in, reach up tall, exhale, fold, Paschimottanasana. As you inhale, get some length through the low back, and as you exhale, play with taking it deeper, find an expression that feels opening but joyful. As you inhale, slowly rise. Reach your hands forward. Make your way all the way to your back. Draw knees into chest. Give yourself a sweet hug, a little gentle rock side to side. Feet up in the air, happy baby. Press the heels to the sky and let the shoulders, the low back, and the knees draw, draw down. You want to feel your whole spine grounded. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ha. Ah, release the feet and take Shavasana, final rest. Stay here for as long as you would like. You can pause the tape. Breathe, relax, give yourself the gift of a sweet Shavasana. Begin to bring movement to your fingers, your toes, your wrists and ankles. Draw knees into chest and slowly roll to your right side. Push yourself up to a seat, top of your mat. Sit up nice and tall and bring palms to heart center. Close your eyes. Let's close our practice with one big ohm. Inhale. Um, thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. The teacher, the light, and the love within me sees and honors the teacher, the light, and the love within each one of you, sweet, beautiful beings. Namaste.